Hello children. Today we'll do a poem named The Dark and the poet of this poem is James Carter. Children, what comes to your mind when you read this word the dark or when you listen to this word dark? Something you are afraid of, frightened, something scary. All these words come to our mind when we read this word dark, when we listen to it. But children, after reading this poem, I assure you, you will come to know about the positive aspects of darkness or the positive aspects of night. Darkness is there at night. So let's recite the poem first. Why are we so afraid of the dark? It doesn't bite and doesn't bark. Or chase old ladies round the park. Or steal your sweeties for a lark. And though it might not let you see, it lets you have some privacy. And gives you time to go to sleep, provides a place to hide or weep. It cannot help but be around when Beastly things make beastly sounds. When back doors slam and windows creak. When cats have fights and voices shriek. The dark is cozy, still and calm. And never does you any harm. In the loft below the sink. It's somewhere nice and quiet to think. Deep in cupboards, pockets too. It is always lurking out of view. Why won't it come out till it is night? Perhaps the dark's afraid of light. Yes, children, in the very first stanza, why are we so afraid of the dark? It doesn't bite and doesn't bark. The poet is going to ask us why we all are afraid of the dark. It is not going to make any harm to us. Just like an insect or an animal, a dog, it doesn't going to bite us or it doesn't going to bark at us. But why we all are afraid of the dark? Or chase old ladies round the park or steal your sweeties for a lark. Sometimes when the old ladies, when they are alone or when they are there in the park, it is not going to chase them. Or when, suppose we people are going somewhere and when someone is going to chase us, we, we are little bit afraid, scared. When somebody is there behind us, maybe he is having any ill feeling. Just like that, we are afraid of the darkness. It is not going to harm us, but even then, or steal your sweeties for a lark. Or whenever we want, just for the sake of prank, we are going to harm anyone but intentionally we are not going to harm we just want to make a prank but just like we we want to make fun of anyone but night or the darkness is not going to make fun of us but why we people are afraid of the dark and though it might not let you see it lets you have some privacy though at night, when there is darkness all around, we are not able to see clearly without light. But night, it's going to give you some private time which everybody needs or it's going to give you some privacy. And really we get time to sleep. After the hard work of the day, when there is day, everybody is busy in this or that, in job or doing work, something like that. But only at night time we get some time to sleep, to take rest. That is our time. Nobody is going to disturb us at that time. Or it also provides a place to hide or weep. Or the poet wants to say that sometimes we are very sad. We don't want to talk to anyone or when we are gloomy, we just want to want 
sit in a corner to cry darkness is going to provide us that place it cannot help but be around when beastly things make beastly sounds when back doors slam and windows creak when cats have fights and voices shriek after day the night time is there or we can say night is going to follow the day we cannot tell the darkness is all around at night or when beastly things beastly here means unpleasant things they are going to make unpleasant sounds at day time many of the sounds are there but we are not able to hear clearly but at night night time when there is silence all around at that time we are able to hear those voices and sometimes that voice is going to make us afraid to when back door slam and windows creak sometimes if i say when there is stormy night and the doors bang and the windows they are going to make sound that sound frightens us or at night time whenever we hear the voices of the cats fight or other voices when the dogs bark at night we really feel scared of it but the positive side of darkness we should see the dark is cozy still and calm and never does you any harm in the loft below the sink it is somewhere nice and quiet to think no doubt we are afraid of darkness neither it harms us nor it is going to make us scare it is our inner fear that is going to make us scare but the positive side of darkness or the night is that it's very cozy cozy means here which makes us feel comfortable and relaxed at night time when there is still calm we just feel relaxed and never does you any harm it's not going to harm us in the loft below the sink darkness is there in the loft or we can say in the attic loft here means means a space at the top of a building under the roof that is used for storing things darkness is there it is also under the sink means many of the places around are there where there is darkness it is somewhere nice and quiet to think but sometimes it happens we just want to sit there and whatever is there in my in our mind or we are sad gloomy we just want to sit in that place quietly just to get the peace of mind deep in cupboards pockets too it is always lurking out of view why won't it come out till it is night perhaps the dark is afraid of light in this stanza the poet is saying darkness is there deep in cupboards it is there in our pockets too it is dark at 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 day also it is dark inside the pockets or we can say it is it is always lurking out of the view or it is waiting and moving in a secret way wherever we go there is darkness in our pockets too when we are not going to open the cupboards darkness is there also why won't it come out till it's night now the poet is asking why it comes out at night time perhaps perhaps means maybe the dark is also afraid of the light that's why there is darkness all around at night time the main idea of the poem is the poet wants to make us feel that there there are the positive aspects of night also we should not always scared of it darkness is not going to make us any harm that is our inner fear
and we have to overcome it we have to see the positive aspects of it so children i hope all of you must have understood the poem thank you